Okay, so this video is a kind of an upgraded video from a previous tutorial of mine. So in my previous tutorial, which I did a while ago, I made this particular messaging effect, messaging on-screen effect, which you can use on Final Cut Pro. Now it is not necessary to use it only on Final Cut Pro, you can use it on any other software. But there is one downside to this particular messaging tutorial, which I did a while ago, which is that in that messaging tutorial, the messages have a white edges around them which is very bad. In most of the cases, it will not be a big deal, but in most professional cases, those kind of clips can be a little bit skeptical to use. So in this particular tutorial, I'm gonna just show this upgraded kind of a effect, upgraded kind of a messaging effect, which looks very professional, which has no kind of white edges because it is done completely on a transparent screen. And then just export it and then import the file in Final Cut Pro or in Premiere Pro. You can do it in either of the softwares because the project, because this particular messaging effect is done completely in After Effects. Don't worry about it. I have covered the entire thing from the starting till the export in this particular tutorial. So you don't need to get scared of After Effects or anything else. Just follow all the steps which I'm doing in this particular effect and it will be good to go. Don't worry about that. It is pretty simple to use. All the instructions are given in this particular tutorial. Just follow, just write your own messages, export the file and then import the file in Final Cut Pro or in Premiere Pro and then do your usual vlog or travel vlog or any other professional words which you feel like and it is that easy it is pretty easy just follow the steps which I'm going to show right now and just a small disclaimer I have not made this particular effort this effort is made by Rocket Stock the link to their project file is in the link down below just download the file and follow the steps which I'm going to show in this particular video and then just simply drag and drop the footage onto Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. I have just explained the details of how to import in Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro, although you don't need it, you guys already know it, but still I have explained it. So after all the export function, you need to follow the steps in Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro, of which the timelines are given in the screen below right now. So you guys, after following the After Effects tutorial, you guys can follow the Final Cut Pro and the Premiere Pro version of the tutorial and it will be good to go. And it is that simple and it is that easy. Just follow the steps and don't get scared of After Effects. And yes, my new Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro transitions will be live soon. Just stay tuned for that. And with that being said, what's up guys, Pistol Sammy here. Welcome to your newest video. I hope you guys are having a great day. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, so this is the file which you will get after you download the file from the link below and then open it in After Effects and then you are going to see this and then if you play it back, you will see five kinds of messaging options in five different themes. So I'm going to choose the second one as I feel the second one is a bit more aesthetic, a bit more better than all the others, but it is up to you which one you choose. In my case, I'm going to choose the second one. Now in the project panel, you're going to see these options, modify image, modify text, time in export. The project construction is the main portion and I'm going to choose the second one. So I'll choose style to composition and then click on conversion bot style to. And then you're going to see this particular text. And then if you toggle this option, the background will turn transparent. And if you toggle it off, the background will be black. So it is up to you. I'm going to keep it as black because I can see the screen properly. So this is the main test option. This is the main test theme of this particular effect. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the name by clicking on the header and then double click in it and then change in my name to whatever you feel like. And then go back and then you will see my name is already updated there. Now in the style to time in, you will see all the options for the messaging. All the options are in separate layers. You don't really need to do anything else for this particular area. You need to change the test at a very different place, but just for showing purpose, I'm going to show this particular part. So this is all the portion in separate layers and all this other stuff. But this is something you don't need to think of anything. Just uh, take care of the names, person A, person B, the person who is chatting is person A and the person who he is chatting to is person B. So number one is the first test, number two is the second test and it goes on like this. Now if you go to the modify test option on the left hand side and then go to style 2 as this is the second style, second theme of this particular project and then go to style 2 because this is a number, this is a serial number of our theme and then you will see all the options such as 
B test one, A test one, A test two. A test one is the first message of the first person. B test one is the first message of the second person, and it goes on like that. So you need to modify each and every one of them separately. And if you don't want any of them, then you can just click on it and then just simply delete it. That is so simple. So for example, I'm going to just change the test of B test one. Then I'm going to just double click on the message test and then modify it. And for example, I'm going to change the test for for the first person. And then I'm going to just write my own message in this particular panel. And then in the name plus time, I can change my name and my time to whatever I feel like, just like any other message in app. I can also change it to scene if I want to, just like Facebook or WhatsApp or Instagram. So I'm going to just change one more message just for example purpose. I'm going to just fast forward this portion because it will be a very long, because otherwise it will be a very long tutorial. Now if you go back to the main conversation bot style tool, you will see all of them modified. So if you modify each and every one of the messages, then you will see all the modified ones in one particular panel right here. Now I am going to go to the export zone to export this particular project. So first go to the export zone, then go to style tool because it is our style tool which we are doing all this while. So go to style tool. And then there are two options such as conversion style at a resolution of 720p and there is one more at a resolution of 1080p. So I'm going to choose 1080p composition and then double click and then just let it render. As you can see the green line there that is a rendered in signal so just let it render. You can also render at the time of export but it will take a longer time so it is better to render before. So after rendering, what you need to do is you need to toggle off the black background. So in order to do that, just click on the small toggle transparency grid which is there on the preview panel, right below the preview panel, right here. So just click on that and then the background will turn transparent. And then go to file, go to export, add to render queue and then tick everything as it is, keep the quality as it is. I'm going to just keep it at the basic settings only. And then in the output module, click on lossless. And then you are going to see this particular panel and then go to channels and keep the channel as RGB plus alpha and not only RGB and then click on OK and then after choosing your location, your target location, your output location, render this out and then export it. Just render this out. So then this is the final result after all the rendering and exporting. Now what you need to do is, it is pretty simple, all you need to do is just drag and drop it onto your Final Cut Pro footage or into your Premiere Pro footage in your sequence and that is pretty much it. Your footage is ready, it already has a transparent background in it unlike the previous tutorial which I did. So just drag and drop it onto your main clip and it will be pretty much done. So one more thing which I want to say is you can also add pictures to your particular messages. Go to the first option which is person A image, person B image, person A image is you, person B image is the person whom you are texting. So just drag and drop a picture in the form of a square thumbnail. Just drag and drop it onto this particular panel. So I'm going to just drag my picture onto this particular panel. And then if it shows like this, just resize it because the original picture must be of a very high resolution. So just transform it and change the resolution just like this. And then for example, if you go to the style one text, you will see my picture already there. And if you apply a picture of yourself, then you will see two people talking simultaneously in the form of text. And then you will see two images. Of two person and the message as usual and if you keep a transparent background then it will be very helpful so that is pretty much it now I'm going to go to Final Cut Pro just to show how this thing works so I imported a small stock footage and the basic export footage which I just exported from After Effects so what I need to do is just drag and drop this particular thing this particular sample footage over the main footage and then you will see it is already there it is the background is already transparent and it is already there and if you see if you think that it is a little bit too transparent like a little bit too translucent then you can just duplicate this clip and then you will see a little more opacity 
in this particular thing there is a little bit of increase in opacity so that it doesn't look so transparent now i'm going to just transform this particular thing to the right hand side because it seems more logical there now there's one more thing which you can do it here only in final cut pro that is you can change the color of the whole text of the whole effect in the hue and saturation curves in final cut pro you can do the same thing in premiere pro in 2019 version but i don't have that as of now but if you have 2019 premiere pro then you can do the same thing so you can change the color to any color which you want and if you just do look at the clip it will be very cool now i'm in premiere pro i'm going to just show how this effect works in premiere pro just a small example that is it because it's a very simple process in premiere pro so this is the footage which i'm going to take this is a pretty simple footage and this is the footage which i have just exported from after effects so i'm going to just simply drag and drop it onto the main clip and then you will see the main clip the main test in effect is already done it is so simple just drag it onto the right hand side because it looks a little more natural a little more sense in the right hand side and then if you want to increase the opacity then you can copy this particular clip at another layer right over it and then you will see there is an increase in opacity for this particular layer sorry for the slow computer but you can see it here right around here so that is pretty much it that is what you can do with this particular software so there is one more thing which you can do is in 2019 premiere pro you have a hue and saturation curves in with which you can change the color of this particular text to any particular text which you want just go to the hue versus hue saturation curve and then change the curve to any color which you want in my case i'm going to use this particular simple curve just for example purpose because i am in 2018 premiere pro but in 2019 premiere pro there is a hue and saturation curves so in hue versus hue curve just change it to whatever the color you feel like and that is pretty much it so that is pretty much it for this tutorial it is a pretty simple tutorial all you need to do is the main effect is in after effects which is also very simple to use i have showed all the methods properly so you can just do it from there and that is pretty much it